hey guys welcome to another video so in this video i'm gonna give a shout out to one of my viewer whose name is favor nelson he basically commented on the video uh titled view binding so in that video he, in his last comment he, he asked me a similar question how we can uh, use view binding in recycler view or basically in any adapter so thank you for suggesting that and i should have made that video without your comment but that basically somehow that slipped my mind so anyway let's make that video right now and yeah so it's very important to know how to uh you know connect uh, your recycler view item view with your adapter using view binding because uh, you don't want to use uh, you, uh, you don't want to use different methods so like for activities and fragment you are using view binding and for uh, recycler view you are using still that uh, find view by id method no you don't, you, you want to be consistent in your uh, um application right and there is a slight different there is not a huge different but slight difference uh i would say and it is uh, not even notice uh, noticeable as well so let's just create without wasting time let's just get start started with the uh, implementation so i have a main xml file where i have a recycler view I've given ID RCV, then I have item view. The ID of that is um, uh, in which I have only one text view, but I don't want to include many steps because, because this is just a demonstration. So I just have one text view and ID is item text view here. Then I have a main activity. And to use view binding, we basically want to have to uh, go to this build.gradle file, module level file, and inside this android blog we will have to write build features and we have to write uh, view binding to true and sync the project okay so view binding is done so let's include view binding in the main activity first so as we all know i suppose you have already uh, watched my view binding video if you haven't just go there and watch i'm gonna uh, include the link into description so i'm not gonna explain what i'm doing in the main activity so late in it war binding of activity binding binding equals to um, activity binding dot inflate um, inflator layout inflator yeah that's it and here we are just gonna have to replace this with binding dot root this way we can access rcv binding dot rcv uh, anyway, we don't really need that here. Let's make an adapter class now because we actually didn't want uh, Don't want to do anything in the main activity. So let's just move on to adapter class. I'm gonna name it my RCV Adapter and it will extend from recycler view dot adapter and we're gonna have to include uh, we're gonna have to make an inner class uh, I'm gonna name it my view holder and here uh, what the difference is uh, if you remember my previous videos uh, the training playlist I used um, item view of type view here but instead of this we can directly use um well item binding of and as you can see the suggestions are already coming up so item binding of type item binding and it will extend from recycler view dot view holder and here we'll pass this item binding item view binding dot root that's it we don't need anything else and we can uh, simply pass this class here 
as um, my rcv adapter dot my view holder and just open the constructor here and you can um, by the way you can override these methods as well if you want but that is of no use for this video only for this video and uh, yeah now if you want to access this text view inside item view um, xml file all you need to do is just call init block here and you can access this item view binding dot text oh, well item text view here it is so this is how you can access um any element which is inside this item view file um we have only one for now which is text view and we are accessing that here using view binding so just a minor difference instead of passing an item view of type view you can directly pass this item view binding of type item view binding this will basically uh, named after your xml file i have item view so it is item view binding if suppose your uh, your the name of your file is item um just item then it will be item binding so uh, that that's that that you need to take care of and um in this constructor you just gonna have to use this item view binding variable that you have created and you can call dot root on that and that's how you can access the um, elements inside your item view xml file so that's it for this video this was a short video and again shout out to favor nelson thank you for suggesting this video and uh, again i want to start a new thing on this channel you can comment down things that you want to learn uh, related to android by the way uh, you comment down the things that you want to learn and i'll try to make videos on that if i believe that topic is relevant and necessity uh, as an android developer to know so i'll try to make videos on that just comment down topics and do not forget to like this video it will help a channel a lot i want to grow this channel a lot bigger so yeah just like this video and share it share it with your friends who are android enthusiasts so i'll see you guys in the next video